Beneath Malaysia's gleaming pillars of progress is the land of early civilization with tales of richness and ingenuity buried deep underground. One of Asia's fastest developing nations is home for a forgotten center that once contributed much to the progress and expansion of ancient civilizations throughout the world. Dalai Lama has been in contact with South India, been in contact with the Persian Gulf, Northeastern Africa for a long time. Malah direkodkan dalam rekod Al Kala Al Biruni uh, mengatakan besi kita dijadikan pedang Arab. Ah itu yang ada manuskrip dia tulis tu bila jadi pedang tu besi daripada tanah Melayu di antara pedang yang bunyi nyari. When it was formed as a kingdom, anybody that passed through the kingdom would have to pay the kingdom taxation, Kadar became very, very rich. They had a huge demand for iron tools in Cambodia. They needed to import it. And one of the nearby areas that has it and was already in contact with them is the Malay Peninsula. I've been to Champa today in Vietnam. I've been to Malaysia. I've been to Indonesia, try to find, to compare all the data of this, uh, my work in. This one, it's the same like Kedatua, same like Khmer language uses the words mas and pirak, silver and gold. These are Malay words. The use of iron has evolved into something more. Iron sheets were then heated and then sealed between two blocks of stone to be pieced together. Join us in this journey as we track the impact of ancient Southeast Asian technology on world history.